another name is about to enter the 2020 race for the White House. And this one you've probably heard before. Ed O'Keefe has the details on the day before Joe Biden is expected to announce his campaign. This country can't afford more years of a president looking to settle personal scores. We've got to get moving. Former Vice President Biden will enter the race for the 2020 Democratic nomination in a place he's never been, on top. The latest polling shows him leading the large field of 2020 Democratic hopefuls with 27 percent, 7 percent ahead of Senator Bernie Sanders. We will take back this country. I mean it. Don't give up. Biden's PAC sent an email to supporters Tuesday hinting that an announcement is coming soon, though he's been toying with the idea of getting into the race for more than a year. What's the hold up? Yeah. What's the hold up? Putting everything together, man. Admitting back in February, his family was on board while he wasn't there yet. They, the most important people in my life, want me to run. Since then, at least eight women have alleged that Biden made them feel uncomfortable in the past, you know, actions for which he later partially apologized. I'm sorry I didn't understand more. I'm not sorry for any of my intentions. Biden has made a run for president twice before. I sat down with him in late 2007. Once I'm covered, I'm convinced. Me matched against Obama, me matched against Hillary, me matched against anyone else. I will do just fine. Joe Biden! But Biden ended up placing fifth in the Iowa caucus. He dropped out, but later became Barack Obama's vice president. He chose not to run in 2016 after the death of his son, Beau, the year before. I regret it every day, but it was the right decision for my family and for me. At 76, Biden will be the second oldest candidate in what's already a crowded field. And while he's popular with working class voters, it's unclear if he'll enjoy similar support from an increasingly younger, more liberal Democratic Party less familiar with his more than four decades of public service. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News, Washington.